Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome to my blog. I just bought it. This is a continuation of, buy, uh, of buying the Stanley 1500 PSI electric pressure washer. This is the unboxing of it. It's finally summer, getting summertime here, so I can actually get it out and use it. So I've just pulled out the electric cord, the handle with the extension. What you do is you push it in, turn it, and then there's a sleeve that you spin down on it and lock it completely in place. Now what I've just added to the end, end of that is the high pressure uh, nozzle, which is good for 1500 PSI, say if you're half inch off of the surface that you're spraying. Now I'm hooking up the high pressure hose. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to push it in and then you're going to lock it with a locking sleeve. You're going to use the uh, end of the hose. It's got the uh, flexible flex end on it. Now you will, what comes in the kit is of course your your power washer, your handle, high pressure hose, your extension lance. You can you you can use it. You can use the extension if you want, or you don't have to use it. It's up totally up to you. Fixed spray nozzle, the high pressure foam sprayer, the spray gun, the nozzle cleaning wire, um, which I have right here that's taped to the owner's manual, so you can clean the nozzle if it gets dirty. So um, once you get your high pressure hose attached to your um, handle, then you have the option of using, again, use the extension with the high pressure fixed nozzle or the high pressure foam sprayer. Of course, I'm reading the manual. <laughs> now, as you know, this is in time lapse. It wasn't intentional, but here we go. <laughs> the uh, again, you got to make sure when you use that nozzle tip, you understand your your psi. The closer you are, the more psi you're going to get. So the further away, you're not going to, you know, it's just going to be less. Now that has a um, special plug. So if it gets wet, it's automatically going to pop. Now, when you are hooking up your water hose, run your water hose uh, before you hook it up. So you can get the air out of the hose. I've got a lot of hose there. I've probably got 200 feet of hose. And I didn't let it run to get the air out of it. So when I turn it on, it's intermittent sending the water into the pump. So what happens is the pump is going to run and then it's going to shut down. And then when it gets air in the hose, it's going to run again. So what you see now is I just added the high pressure foam sprayer on the end of the gun without the extension. I left the spray nozzle on the extension so I can swap them out. And you can see I'm using Walmart brand car wash. And I filled that bottle up halfway. And that did that did the trailer and that did the the uh, the explorer. And I washed both of them at the same time. And now I'm making sure I get the get the water on. Um, I sprayed the front windows awning 
on the trailer there. And come to find out, I didn't realize that that was made of fiberglass. And, of course, that trailer is over 50 years old now. And everything is original. And so is that fiberglass awning. So when I got going on it, it did a real good job of cleaning it. But it was also spraying fiberglass everywhere. And I did not realize it until the afternoon when my arms were freaking beat red and stinging me. So just <laughs> I was bumping. I was bumping probably a thousand PSI on that awning because I wasn't going too close to the awning. I was afraid it's going to cut a hole right through it. But I was, overall, I was impressed. It, uh, it worked really well. And, uh, again, just make sure you get all the air out of your water hose. Eventually, it worked great. I didn't have, didn't have any cut down. Because the pump will automatically shut off when you stop spraying. As long as you have water pressure going into it. Right now, you can see I'm having issues because it's getting air into the pump. And if air gets into the pump, the pump will keep running. But it was really light. I was able to move it around. Just kind of clumsy because you got you got to deal with the electric hose, the high pressure hose, <laughs> and the water hose. Now I'm going to go up and uh, I'm actually going to spray the <laughs> spray the Explorer. I'm basically putting soap everywhere right now. And I'm going to come back through. I said, oh, well, I'll go ahead and do the Explorer while I'm at it. So I waste. Finish, finish up the uh, soap. Went quite a ways. It did a it did a decent job. I was impressed. And I'll be using it again. Oh wait. And I'll be able to do the deck, and I'll be able to do the rest of the cars, and be able to do big, uh, big carpet. Like I said, there's a sleeve. Is that yeah, that that yellow piece on that thing is a sleeve? So you're gonna push. Push your accessory in there, push it, and then it's gonna then you turn it and lock it. And then you take that yellow sleeve and spin it and it'll lock the whole unit as one. That's their safety safety device. Okay, now I'm gonna go get the extension, which has got the high pressure nozzle on it. Here we go. And I was impressed, especially for fifty. For I only paid fifty dollars for it, so I couldn't uh, couldn't complain. All right. I would definitely recommend wearing uh, safety glasses while you're doing it because you can hit little crevices and it'll kick and you know, kick the water back at you. So you can wind up taking a bath <laughs> in the end. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna. She pointed out I sprayed, I sprayed dirt that <laughs> I had forever. It's been on there forever. So again, the closer you get, the more PSI you're going to get. We're going to go to the front, and you will see an example of that right now on that awning. I got within like two inches of that thing, and you can see that's freaking 50 years of buildup on that awning. <laughs> and I'm spraying, I'm spraying tight, and I'm blowing fiberglass everywhere. I didn't realize it. As you can see, it it cleaned it really, really well. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right. I decided to go ahead and we got done. I went and wrapped that wrap that up to make it look look like the box and uh it was really difficult getting the hose small enough to go in there but everything goes in that goes in there so all right thanks for watching don't forget to comment subscribe definitely share you'll catch me on the next i just bought it <laughs>